previously on The Drive. We want players in this program that are completely committed to what they're doing, committed to each other, committed to the coaches, and uh, we think we have that. we got to sort out this, this quarterback situation. It's all about just being the best you can. To the end zone! Touchdown! When this job opened up, it instantly clicked in my mind. Turn it up! Turn it up! I'm a competitor, you know what I mean? And it's something that I love to do more than anything is win. Final score, the Wolverines 35, the Beavers 7. We all failed. The beautiful thing is, is we got 10 more guaranteed, right? That's it. You're either in or you're in the way. Stay alive. I'm a builder. I like to build things. That's me. Left down. We big time out here. At this point in the college football cycle, teams are supposed to be operating at peak performance. The Utah Utes football machine is running on all cylinders with a 3-0 start and a number 18 national ranking. In the final days before the start of Pac-12 play, all the pieces are in place for success. Let's get to this practice film. Outstanding effort from every single person on the unit. Guys running, guys running. What we do in practice, the things that we see in practice are the same thing you start to see that show up on the game film. Guys, this is why we watch film. You're lucky. This might be one of the few chances you get to be on the tube, so shut up and listen. Okay. <laughs> game film provides teams with instant feedback of what worked and what didn't. For Ute's senior running back, Devontae Booker, recent footage looks like an edited highlight package, the result of a dominating 212-yard performance against Fresno State. As Utah's biggest offensive threat and a Heisman contender, Booker's punishing running style is due in part to his father's influence. My dad always taught me, never let the first man tackle you. That's what I tend to do every time I get the ball. I never let that first defender tackle me at all or never try to make that play on me. I always got to lay that blow on him first before he laid on me. The house will probably be nice and clean for you guys. Jared hurried home. Oh, I just knew the house would be nice and clean. I just knew. <laughs> Whether the house is clean or not is certainly up for debate. What isn't up for debate is how essential roommates Jared Norris and Hunter Dimmick are to Utah's tenacious defense. You know, we both play left side. I, I play left side backer, he plays left side DN, and so we always kind of have this thing, you know, this left side is a strong side, like can't run on that side. And, and uh, it's just kind of nice to have him there, and he, I think it, he feels that it's nice to have me behind him, so it, it's just a kind of a nice tandem. Right. How's he as a roommate? How's he as a roommate? Yeah. He can be a little more responsible, if we're just being honest. That's all I'm saying. He's a, he's a, you know, he's still a child. He's still a child. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Junior defensive end Hunter Dimmick arrived at Utah two years ago, quickly turning himself into a star. He finished last season with 10 sacks, good for ninth in the nation in sacks per game. Last week, an injured Dimmick missed the Utes' 21-point victory over Fresno State and the team hopes to have him back for the conference opener at Oregon, last year's Pac-12 champion. You know, that's, that's a pretty hostile stadium, which, at least for me, I know it always kind of works one of, one of two ways. If, if you do good, it, I feel like it kind of almost benefits you more being somewhere else because that quietness really fuels you. But in contrast, you know, you do bad and that crowd starts yelling at you and, you know, get inside your head. It's uh, obviously it makes it worse. So it's. I think it just kind of makes the game a little bit more good or bad for you, depending on how you started out. I know, I know, I know. Let's go, bring it up. Let's go, walk through. The ball? Let's go, get somewhere. The raucous atmosphere of Oregon's Autzen Stadium cannot be replicated. So Ute's 11-year head coach Kyle Whittingham brought in the next best thing. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. 
Pac-12 gauntlet is about to start. Conference play in this league is exciting. Every week is a challenge. You better, better be ready to play your A game every single week. Ute's senior starting quarterback, Travis Wilson, is dealing with a shoulder sprain that kept him out of last week's game, adding more pressure to the preparation before the Pac-12 opener. You know, if Travis is healthy, it will be Travis. We'll find out as the week goes on how he feels, but sitting here today, we, we can't answer that question because we don't know. Luckily for the Utes, senior running back Devontae Booker is ready to go. Hopes for an upset in Eugene rest squarely on his shoulders. Just me being the main focal point of the offense, and I gotta go out there and you know contribute to this team each and every week and put my body out there on the line for them, anything to help my team win. We'll out-tough them, we'll out-physical them. Be thinking about that the whole rest of the week. We're gonna hit them in the mouth. I don't know if there's ever been a bigger game than this. It kind of set the season standard. The Michigan game was huge, but this game is even bigger for us, I think. Nice kick. 176. Nice. Nice hang. I believe I could catch kickoffs. In fact, I know I can because I did it in high school. It ain't that hard, is it, Tice? It ain't hard. Oh, I went to the house to the with house. regularity. To the yeah. To the crib. I returned punts and kickoffs, as a matter of fact. Huh? And I punted and I place kicked. Whatever it took, man. Let's go, bring it up. Let's go, bring it in, everybody. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Touch them up. Nice practice. Way to work. Great Tuesday. Bloody Tuesday in the books. Okay, got to come out tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday. Got to put them together. String them together, one after another. Just keep putting them together, all right? It's on to Oregon. Nothing else matters. Okay, nothing else is talked about. Everything else is ancient history. It's all about the Ducks this week. Had a great opportunity in front of you. We're gonna have a lot of great opportunities this year. This is the first one. Okay, but you got to take them one at a time. Okay, prepare. The process has got to reign supreme this week. The process has got to be adhered to 100%. You got to prepare. You got to watch film. You got to practice the right way. Everything's got to get done the right way. Let's go. Break them out of here. Oh. Hey,